welcome to the Carnival Celebration. For the next three weeks, Tourist to Local is at sea, taking you with us as we explore Carnival's latest flagship. The Carnival Celebration pays tribute to Carnival's 50th anniversary, and they have outdone themselves on this ship. There's new bars and dining options, sleek cabins, and even a roller coaster. They thought of everything. Now it's kind of perfect you found this video because we have a perspective on this place that's pretty unique. We are two former employees of Carnival. We used to work in Carnival Splendor and right now we're discovering the new ship. This ship is totally different from anything we've ever seen. We're going to be sharing with you guys our honest opinion, showing you the must-see spots, so uh, let's get to exploring. Vamos. First up on our tour is to what is the atrium of the ship, which they're calling center stage. However, this is totally unlike any other atrium I've seen on a ship before because it's more so a theater in the middle of the ship. Uh, it's three different levels and you can actually walk through on your way to different activities and you'll suddenly be immersed in various performances happening here, which I love that concept. You'll find music, trivia, they do the bingo here, and so you don't have to feel like you have to enter a theater to see what's going on. It's right here. Uh, there's three different levels, plenty of seats, which I love because on ships like the Splendor, one complaint we would always get is that there wasn't enough seats for people to join in on trivia. However, I will say that although there is three levels, there are quite a few obstructed views. Um, so just keep that in mind and you wanna get here super early to get a good seat. This place gets packed. Also over here, we're getting a sneak peek at one of the 13 bars that are on the ship. This is the Aquaria Bar, which has actually repurposed the glass of the Carnival Victory into this gorgeous display. Uh, the bars here on the ship are so fun. We'll show you a few more as we go around. In the meantime, let's head to our next spot. Also in this area of deck seats is the Punchliner Comedy Club, the Piano Bar, and the Cherry on Top Candy Bar. You'll also find the Java Blue Cafe, which is larger than in other ships and located next to the center stage. Head forward on deck six and you'll run into another spot we spend a lot of time, the gym. Now whether you are a gym person or not, one thing is for sure. You're gonna be doing tons of walking on this ship because it's huge, which is why you wanna make sure you bring some super comfortable shoes. Our favorite is Allbirds, who's partnered with us for this video. Their shoes not only are so comfortable and made of sustainable materials, but they're washable. And we've used them in multiple environments while traveling. We're actually on an eight week trip right now where we're doing cold weather, hot weather stuff. These shoes have been perfect because we're minimalist travelers. All right, let's see our next spot. This ship has two main dining rooms, the Carnival and the Festival. These dining rooms look pretty modern and not as crowded as the other ships. But you're not stuck only with the dining room. There's a ton of options in the ship to have a good dinner. The next spot is the Gateway, which is probably our favorite spot on the whole oh, yeah. ship. There's three things here that you've never seen on another Carnival ship, and that's the Golden Jubilee, Emerald's Bistro, and Latitude Bar. The Latitude Bar, it's been our favorite bar so far. Why? Because it's travel team. Yes. So you can see that in the seats, you can see that also in the menus, and also, I don't know how to explain that, Juliana, can you please? Yeah, so you know how like in old-fashioned airports they used to have like this kind of ticker sign that would change? They have one of those here and actually there's a time um, on the first sea day where they have a celebration event where they can actually put messages up there of whatever you're celebrating. Yeah, if it's a wedding, if it's a divorce, anything, you can just put it over there. <laughs> also what I really like is that they have drinks from all around the world different beers from all around the world and wines all around the world, yeah. so this is super cool. This menu is awesome. We love the Latitude Bar, but Martin is the type of person who really likes more like robust, dark drinks. You know. And for that reason, we discovered the Golden Jubilee last night. Oh my gosh, there was a fantastic menu where Martin was like, I don't know what to order, there's so many options. I know, so many options and only seven days over here. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing to point out is that this light thing up around here, it changes throughout the time you're sitting here, which is super cool. And Emerald's Bistro is a really fun concept uh, because they have New, New Orleans style cuisine every single day and then different international cuisines uh, each day of the cruise. So always something different. The aft 
on deck 6 also has a carnival kitchen where you can do cooking classes and the festival restaurant. On deck 7, right above the gateway, is another bar that looks onto the colorful promenade and that's the Alchemy Bar. The bar is themed after a vintage pharmacy and the bartenders write up prescriptions for you based on what type of remedy you need. This was my personal favorite option since it was the only bar that served both alcoholic and non-alcoholic cocktails. I want to show you guys the casino. It's actually a little different from another ships because they have doors. In another one, you just enter to the casino. Over here, it has stores. And it's pretty big, so let me show you guys around. I'm impressed with the size of this casino and the fact that there's actually windows looking out. Can you imagine playing blackjack here with this view? Incredible. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, yeah. What I'm really liking about this ship is that everything is mixed up. What I mean is like the shops that are not all in the same area. Also the dining offers, they are also distributed in different floors. So whenever you're walking a floor, it's you see a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's so true. I'm used to on other carnival ships, like all the free food, like the guy's burgers, the big chicken. I'm used to it all being in the same mm -hmm. area, but here you can kind of find a little bit of something everywhere, which is right. very different. The last main floor indoors to check out is deck eight, which is where we start to see dining options like Chipang, the Chinese Mexican restaurant, Bonsai Sushi and Teppanyaki, Sea Grill, and Cucina del Capitano, plus a few other spots Martin loves. This is the Habana Bar. This is where the Latin group plays. So over here you can see merengue, cumbia, salsa, everything with Britney. This would be my turf. I used to work as a watch specialist on a carnival cruise line, so I will be over there all dressed up, showing you watches. <laughs> Decade also has a few other familiar favorites like the Pixels Gallery, which has these fancy new iPads, a deli, and Miami Slice, formerly known as Pizza Pirate. May she rest in peace. And at this point, we realized that this ship has more wire and coffee stations throughout, which is so nice. Gone are the days of running up to Little Deck to grab a free drink. In the back of deck eight is Summer Landing, and this area is a ton of fun. You'll find the brewery here, they got Pig and Anchor, which is delicious. We just came back from filming a series in the state of Georgia, and we've been on a barbecue kick ever since. They also have the Tribute Lounge, great place to watch sports. They even got a couple of soft serve machines here and a pool in the back. So very cool place to hang out. They got great music at night too. So another fun area with a lot going on. Deck 16 is the big food area. It's where you can find the marketplace and also another options like big chicken. Deck 16 midship is also where you're going to find Lido Deck and they have all the carnival favorites, Blue Iguana, the Red Frog Tiki Bar, and of course, a huge pool. On deck 18, you're going to find the ultimate playground. This is basically the place that all the kids and the adults who still act like kids are going to want to hang out. You have your walking path, you have your sports court, mini golf, waterworks, the ropes course, and something super cool called the Bolt Roller Coaster, which I've never seen on a cruise ship before. There's actually a roller coaster here. It does come with an extra charge. You can fly around over the ocean while you're at sea. How cool is that? Next, we headed to the forward end of Deck 18 for what is the most underrated spot on the ship. This is Serenity, this is adults only. It's much quieter than the rest of the ship. There's a nice pool over here, and this is the place that you want to be if you want to avoid kids. Now, when we were crew members, all the cabins are indoor cabins, so Martina and I are very, very used to indoor cabins, which is why we picked an indoor cabin for the carnival celebration. Uh, no windows actually means you get some of the best naps of your lives. Now let's take a look inside. Come on in. I'm quite impressed with this. I love the lighting of this indoor cabin. This place has definitely gotten quite a facelift compared to some other indoor cabins on the other carnival ships. Uh, plenty of light and actually, I think there's even more we could be turning on here. Look at that. 
great bed. Uh, they can either do two um, twins or one king together. I love the makeup area too. The makeup's been looking great on this cruise because the lighting here is wonderful. Another favorite thing about this room is that the storage is not lacking. There's so many different hidden areas like uh, actually over here, this seat, it opens up and it's a storage spot. There's also three drawers here and two identical closets with tons of shelves. And the shelves can actually go up if you wanna hang stuff that's long. Uh, so many places to put your things. We were able to unpack completely which is not actually usual for us. Uh, everything has a spot, which I love. I love what they've done here with the side lights. They actually pull out like this and they're kind of a spotlight and you can actually angle them to be pointed inward if you're reading um, and then just put them back away when you need to. Plenty of outlets too, USBs on each side. More USBs over here and outlets. Uh, very well done, everything you could possibly need in an interior cabin. I like it. And inside the bathroom is quite nice as well. This light, uh, there's actually a dimmer version of this light uh, in the nighttime, so uh, having that nightlight is really nice. I also like the glass door here. It opens completely and uh, it's very easy. It doesn't get in the way. And pretty reasonably sized shower as well. Now, Carnival hasn't yet upgraded uh, their technology in regards to the rooms. One thing I will note is on other lines, they have this really cool technology where there's actually a light outside that can show if you're in your room or not so that the staff doesn't disturb you. They don't have that here, so do remember that if you are one to sleep in, you do need to put out this new sign. Otherwise, housekeeping might wake you up. Thank you so much for coming with us, discovering this massive ship. Now you've seen the grounds, but let's see what this place is like in action. Next week, we're gonna be showing you a typical day at sea, all the activities, all the fun we get up to, the food, everything. So make sure to stay tuned for that video. Now, if you guys like watching cruise videos, we do it occasionally, but I wanted to give a huge shout out to my mom, Bon Voyage Cruises. This lady, she's wonderful. She's retired and she puts out videos every single week showing cruise stuff. So give her account a follow, we'll leave it up above. She does a phenomenal job. Gabani. <laughs> so long. Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.